Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy. Have fun, and good luck to all of you. Thank you, Alex. And this is game four now of my run of Jeopardy 2nd Edition for the PlayStation, and I have a free game total of $17,600. Let's see if I can add to that total in this game. Here are the categories for the Jeopardy round. Let's see them. Annual events. The buck stops here. Poets. Legal stuff. Subway stops. And lastly, horrors. Ooh, scary. And of course we have buck in quotation marks for that second category, so we know what that means. Where one, what will it be? And I'm the returning champion, so I'm going to start. Subway stops for 100. Kiyobashi and Taranamon are stops on the Ginza line cutting through this Japanese city. What is Tokyo? Player one. Well done, yes. All right, Subway stops for 200. You'll have to switch lines in this Mexican city to go from Chapultepec to Politecnico. What is Mexico City? Player one. That's right. Subway stops for 300. You can ride one line in this Greek capital from Tepisha to Piraeus. What is Athens? Player one. You got it. 400. Stops on this Brazilian city's line one include Carioca, Flamingo, and Botafogo. What is Rio de Janeiro? Player one. Definitely. And let's finish the category. Going from Govan to Calcadens on this Scottish city subway, you'll cross the Clyde and Kelvin rivers. What is Glasgow? Player one. Right you are. Well done in the subway stops category. Buck stops here for 100. A $10 bill. What is Sawbuck? Player one. Yes, indeed. Buck stops here, 200. In commercials, the crash test dummies urge us to do this. Don't be a dummy. I don't know. Oh, buckle our seatbelt. Okay. Buck stops here, 300. It's slang for a bronco-busting cowboy. Player three? What is a buckaroo? You got it. Yep. Player three, it's your turn. The buck stops here. For 400, please, Alex. This member of Fleetwood Mac had his own solo top 10 hit in 1981 with Trouble. Okay, I don't know who that is. <clears throat> Anyone at all? Who is Lindsay Buckingham? Uh, that, I've heard of Buckingham Palace, but not Lindsay Buckingham. The buck stops here for 500. 
This is the nickname of Ohio State's sports team. What is the Buckeye? What are Buckeyes? Player one. That's right. Annual lengths for 100. Player one, your turn. Dating back at least a hundred years, drowning the shamrock is a tradition on this March holiday. What is St. Patrick's Day? Layer one. You're correct. Annual that's 200. Secretary of State William H. Seward is honored in this largest state on the last Monday in March. What is Alaska? Layer one. Definitely. Annual events for 300. Called the greatest two minutes in sports, this derby takes place on the first Saturday in May. What is the Kentucky Derby? Player one. Oh, oh, oh. Exactly. Same category for 400. An ancient symbol of abundance, the cornucopia is often attached to this November holiday. Player three. What is Thanksgiving? You're correct. Okay. If you would, play. <clears throat> I'd like annual events hmm. for 500, Alex. Hannibal's Mississippi River Art Fair is held in the district named for this Tom Sawyer author. Um, oh, Mark Twain. Uh. Horrors. For 100, please. Freddy Krueger causes nightmares on this street. What is Elm Street? Layer one. That's right. Horrors for 200. Your choice, player one. Despite its title, this 1980 film had enough box office luck to produce seven sequels by 1989. Anyone at all? I don't know. Oh, Friday the 13th. Oh, pff, I should have known that. All right, legal stuff for 100. The Playboy Foundation gives awards named for this free speech amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Oh, what is the First Amendment? Uh, Horrors for 300. John Larroquette narrated this 1974 film in which chainsaws are put to new use. Uh, what is... Layer one? Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Yes, indeed. All right. Horace 400. This 1960 Hitchcock classic starred Anthony Perkins. With Psycho? Layer one. You're correct. 
And let's finish the category. First name of the monstrous doll in the three Child's Play movies. Uh, who is Chucky? Player one. Exactly. All right. Legal stuff for 200. U.S. firms operating in the investment field have to answer to the SEC, this group. I don't know. The Securities and Exchange Commission. Okay. Uh, let's try Poets for 100. Late in his life, he was involved with at least three women, but wedding bells told nevermore. Who is that, Growl and Poe? Player one. That's it. Poets 200. Lady Caroline Lamb, a married lover of this lord, called him mad, bad, and dangerous to know. Don't know. Oh, Lord Byron. Okay. Poets 300. He did not go gentle into that good night, but died at age 39 after years of hard drinking and debauchery. I don't know. Thomas. Still Thomas, or whoever, whatever that D stands for. Legal stuff for 300. A living one gives family members the right to end treatment of a dying person. Layer two. What is the last will and testament? Well done, yes. Alright, first time you've heard from player two. It's your turn, player two. How about legal stuff? For 400, Alex. Doctors, lawyers, and accountants protect against charges of professional error with this type of insurance. Anyone? What is malpractice? Legal stuff. For 500? The answer there is the Daily Double. The Daily Double. Player two, your wager, please. And you can risk up to 500. And 500 it is. This state's Proposition 227 of 1998 opposed bilingual education. Player two. What is Louisiana? Oh, regrettably, no. No, it's not Louisiana. It's California. All right, two clues left. Poets? For 400, Alex. This Scots affair with a servant lass named Elizabeth produced a child in 1785. Don't know. Robert Burns. Looks like. And now let's finish off the round with around. Poets for 500. His first wife, Harriet, was pregnant when he ran off with teenager Mary Wollstonecraft Godwin. I'm not going to ring in. Oh, player three. Let's see what player three says. Who is P.B. Shelley? Yes. That's right. That's going to take you up to 1,200, and that takes us to the end of our first round. And I have the lead with 4,100. You're on a roll. Player three is in third place. Uh, player two, rather, is in third place at minus 200. So that means player two is going to select first in double jeopardy. And we'll get to that round after this break.